Hi beauties, welcome to today's video. I am so excited to be here with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're gonna be talking about some of the greatest lessons that I learned in 2021. The overall theme of this year for me was definitely more so like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly and the process of metamorphosis. I truly feel like that and I feel like I am still in the caterpillar stage of my life because I am definitely in my cocoon and I have been experiencing more so the end of this year a lot of, uh, I would say pain, emotional pain and uh, emotional challenges uh, and a lot of diving deep into parts of my subconscious mind that I had never accessed before. And in October, when I started my primordial sound meditation training, my enrichment program, I really started to practice meditation on a daily basis, twice a day, 20 minutes. When I started meditating, um, and this happened like maybe in two weeks, I felt like my, my emotional box opened up and so many things that honestly even all the way up until like the moment of birth and i want to share that story with you guys because it was really profound um a lot of things came up for me at the end of the year i feel like i leaned more into that caterpillar face of my life because this whole year has been very uh, into introspective and i've been in my own world in my house i haven't really seen my friends i've seen my mom of course and my dad and my sisters my one friend uh, casey is literally the only friend that i have seen since COVID started so i've been here at home with my family and stuff and just really working on myself like i've never have before uh, and figuring my life out, you know, because at the beginning of the year in January, I'm like, I am not happy doing what I was doing and I need to pursue my dreams now or never because I am never gonna be this young with this much energy. I also gotta take advantage of the fact that my body is young and my organs are young and the internal system is really young. So I wanna maximize this point of my life to the fullest. And if not now, then when? Right? So if you have a dream and you've been putting it off, I think one of the greatest lessons that I have learned and I implemented this year is to put it into action. To come up with a plan and you don't have to have the whole vision of how like you wanna bring it into life, but start brainstorming ways of getting this vision to come to life, to bring it here. From a whole year of doing that, I have seen so much clarity come forth and I've seen my baby sweet soul come to life and here we are with this community that is growing and I love to see your faces when you guys subscribe to my channel I'm able to see your your profile pic so I'm able to see the people that are choosing to be a part of this community and that means a lot to me because I think one of the things that I value the most is the human connection element. I just wanna encourage you guys, honestly, to pursue your dream, whatever it is. And I pump, one of my friends actually, I pump her up all the time and I didn't even know that I did this, but I guess in her world, she didn't see herself, um, she's my age too, but she didn't really see the possibilities of her pursuing a life outside of being a mom and exploring her creativity. And we had this conversation one day and um, over drinks <laughs> and I was like, no, you, you want to do this? You need to do an out. Like, what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean you're too, that, that time already passed? No, 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 no. Like you're going to do an out. Why not do it? Cause that's how I see it. If I have something in my mind floating around, I'm going to do it. I, I'm doing literally exactly what I want to do. So she told me that she never, um, she never thought that that would be something that she could do in her 30s because a lot of the people that generally do that, I guess, are younger or whatever. Um, but that should never discourage us from pursuing our dreams. And um, if we wanna do something, it doesn't matter how old you are, do it. Because that's the whole point of living life. It's uh, pursuing our dreams and our passions and our goals and living life to the fullest in the best way that we can, that we can you know? Because there's a lot of things that we've taken as priority in our lives that are really not that important. So the next thing is uh, human connection. Valuing true, authentic human connection with the people that we actually have in our lives. 
to me that is my really close friends um my husband okay my husband my incredible husband who i love so much my children my parents my sisters my nieces my nephew my suegra i had this awareness uh towards the end of the year also when i kind of pulled back even more into myself that i was spending a lot of time and effort a lot of my energy the only time that i show up is with intention when i have something purposeful behind it and i want to share it with you guys but other than that, I am no longer in that rat race of like being relevant and the growing numbers and this, that, and the fourth. That to me, it's not happiness and it's not worth my precious time on earth. And no shade, no shade to anybody who does. This is just my experience from using social media for 13 plus years, you know? And the fact that I was disconnecting so much from the real people in my life. And that's something that's happening so much in, in the world, we're definitely like losing connection. And so I had that moment of clarity and I just wanted to be, I wanted to grow the relationships in my life with my family and my friends. I wanted to really nurture that. I wanted to really pour my love and my energy into that instead of pouring that into the matrix. Um, and that's just the way that I see it. So I took a break from social media and um, I, again, I show up here and there, but I'm not necessarily living my life to create content or to show the world all big major things that are happening in my life. You know, I feel like that never really brought true happiness for me and it's just not worth it. So, and you know what? It also gives you so much freedom to do the things that you actually wanna do that are going to help you progress in your life and I am so grateful for this awareness around social media because now with the metaverse being introduced, I feel like that's just gonna take on this whole ugly thing that's just gonna happen. And a lot of the programming also on television. All right guys, so I'm just gonna wrap it up now because I feel like this whole lighting situation with the clouds is just gonna make this video a whole mess to edit. So I'm just gonna end it here and I wanna hear from you guys. What are some of the greatest lessons that you have learned in 2021? I would love to read them in the comment section down below. So leave a comment and I will be chatting with you there. Until then, have a blessed and beautiful day and I can't wait to see you in my next video.